In this video you will learn how to protect your pages inside Angular by using Angular words. And just from the beginning I must tell you the truth. You can't really protect your application in client side, which actually means it doesn't really matter what we are writing inside words, if somebody really want to break our code and accept the page it is totally possible. This is why you must do all possible backend checks and allow people to access your API only when they have correct login. Which actually means your application must be first safe on the backend and we have words inside Angular just so user accidentally don't access the page. It is not to make your application bulletproof. So let's try to protect our pages now. As you can see here I already prepared a small Angular application. We first of all have here a home page and a private route and when I am jumping to slash private I have here content I am a private route. So inside Angular to protect our routes we are using words. What is a word? This is just a class with one method and this method will be called when we are trying to access our page. And if this method returns true then everything is good and our user can access this page. If this method returns false then we won't access this page. This is why let's create our word now. And in order to do that inside source app I will create auth word dot service dot ts. And here we are creating just a normal service. So I have on the top injectable and then an export. So we are exporting here our class auth word service. And now here is the most interesting part we are writing here implements can activate. And instantly we are getting an error class auth word service incorrectly implements interface can activate. Property can activate is missing which actually means when we are creating a word we must define inside this method can activate which will return true or false. This is why here let's create a method can activate and we don't really need in our case to get access to some parameters inside. And this method must return for us a boolean which actually means now here I will simply write return true just to test it. Our next step will be to register our service and we are doing it in our app module TS. So here inside providers we can add our auth word service. And the last step that we must do we must call this auth word service on some route. And actually we want to protect our private route. This is why we are jumping inside app private. Here is private module and here is our route with path and component. This is why here we must add can activate. And actually this is an array and inside we are providing the list of our words. In our case it will be auth word service. So let's check if it's working. As you can see here we don't have any errors, let's jump in browser. And here I am on the home page and I can access private. I'm seeing here I'm private route and I'm in slash private. This happens because inside our out word we return true. If we will return here false then it won't be possible. As you can see here I am on the home page and I can't jump to the private, it simply does not happen. And I can't write here slash private, it also won't work, I am directly redirected back to the home page. But obviously in the real application we are not just writing inside return false or return true. In the real application you will fetch current user from the backend and everything will be asynchronously. And on a synchronous case we will look in a second because it is more complex. If you have some simple case with your data on the client then you can make it synchronously. And synchronous version works exactly like we wrote. We have can activate, here we are returning boolean and inside we are writing our logic. For example here we can check the token inside local storage. And actually in the real production application it is not enough to be sure that user can access this page but for our case it can be sufficient. So we can write here if local storage dot get item and here we are providing a token. So if we got that then we are returning true. In other case we are returning false. Let's check if it's working. I am jumping to the private and nothing happens because actually we are returning false. But if here inside our application we are jumping to our local storage and we are creating new key with the name token and any value then it will work. We are reloading the page. I am jumping to the private and I am on the private route. It happens because we got in this if condition and we are returning here true. 
But again, in the real application, everything is asynchronous and we're working with API and this code is not really something that you will use. Instead of this, we will fetch the user on initialize of our application. And as you can see here, I already prepared for us current user service. And this is just a service with one behavior subject. As you can see, we have here current user dollar, and here inside we are storing either this object with ID and name, which means this is our current user, null or undefined. And by default, we are setting here undefined. Why is that? It means that we didn't fetch user yet, and we are in the state where we don't know if we are logged in or not, so we are waiting to get this information. I also have here set current user and this is exactly what we will call on initialize of our application. And actually here I simplified it, we are not making an API call. And here I am using again local storage get item, but after this I am either writing inside current user stream this object with id and name foo, or I am writing there now. And actually now means that we already got current user and we are sure that we are not logged in. Current user next with user information means that we are logged in. And in the real application you will have something like this, HTTP get, you are getting current user, and then you are doing exactly the same, you are setting current user next with your user data. And this is happening inside this set current user. So when we need to call this method, it is happening on initialize inside app component. So here, first of all, we must inside our constructor inject our service. So here we have our current user service, and this is current user service. Now inside our engine init, we can just call this current user service dot set current user. So in the real application, this method will make an API call to get current user to the API and set it inside the service in our stream. So now if we are getting this token, then this stream will be updated with user data or with null. And now in our whole application, we are not working with local storage, we are checking this stream inside user service, because this is exactly our state for the whole application. And this is exactly what we want to use inside our outg word. This is why I want to comment this code and write here an asynchronous word. And this is what you will typically use inside real application. So we can write here can activate and I'm getting back here not just boolean but observable of boolean, which means we are working here with this stream of data. Now here we want to access our current user service, this is why we must inject it. So here is our current user service and this is current user service. And now inside our can activate we can simply return this current user service dot and here we have our stream current user and we can subscribe to it. This is why here let's write pipe and inside we have map and inside map we are getting our current user. So here we can check if we don't have current user, so if not current user, then we want to make route and navigate, so we want user to jump to the home page. And this is why inside our constructor we must inject here a router. So here is our router, which is a router. And now here, if we don't have current user, we can call this dot router dot navigate by URL. And here we're providing slash, which is our home page. And also we must return here false. And this is important because our method always must return an observable of the Boolean. If you won't write this line, it won't be correct. And after our if here, we want just to return true. Because in this case we know, okay, user is logged in, we don't need to do anything, we can access this page. But actually this code has a problem, why is that? As you can see here inside our map, we are getting current user and it can be either an object, null or undefined. And we don't need to see here undefined because it will ruin all our checks. Because if user undefined, then we are getting to this if and we are navigating. But actually we didn't fetch our current user yet. This is why we must eliminate undefined and simply wait inside our observable for null or current user object. This is why here inside our pipe we want to use filter. And actually inside filter we have current user and it can be either null, undefined or user object. This is why here we want to check that our current user does not equal undefined which actually means here inside our map, we successfully eliminated undefined and our can activate will wait until we will get inside this map and navigate user if we need to. 
But in order to make it more realistic, let's jump inside our app component TS and write here set timeout, which actually means we are getting our data after 2 seconds. And let's see how it will look like. So here I have a set timeout and inside I am setting current user. As you can see I don't have any errors and let's jump to browser. Here we are inside home page and I am jumping to the private and as you can see it was delayed by 2 seconds. Why that? Because actually we are hanging in this state of can activate until our observable is fulfilled. Which means if our observable is never fulfilled we will never see the page. But I am clicking now inside private and I am directly inside private route. It is happening because our state is already there and we are checking it. But if I am reloading the page and I am jumping to the private, we are waiting 2 seconds until we are getting data. And now let's try to remove from our application, from our local storage token. I am reloading the page and I am clicking on the private. And as you can see I can't access it, doesn't matter how long I wait. I am simply redirected directly to the home page when I am clicking here because I am getting null from the stream. And actually if you are interested to know how to build pagination by yourself, inside Angular make sure to check this video also.